Hey guys, um, welcome to this devotion this week. We're in a series called Stuck in the Mud, uh, where we're looking at those moments, those times when we feel stuck in our relationship with God and, and how do we get out of those times. And last week we spoke specifically about how to get unstuck and, and we, we looked at how it's not about doing more Christian activities to get yourself unstuck. But actually the first thing that we should be doing is we should be calling on God for help. We should be going to God with the anxiety that, that, that we feel around being stuck in. And we should be sharing vulnerably those things. And then we should be choosing to hear God's heart for us. Then the week before that, we spoke about how this whole, whole idea of stuckness is actually not a reality. Because God promises that if we're in Him, if we're in Christ, we can't get stuck. We'll keep moving forward. So actually, it's ultimately God's work. Now, having said that, does that mean that we have no part to play in our relationship with Jesus? Absolutely not. Our relationship with Jesus is not a one-way street. It's a relationship. So there is a part to play. There are certain things that we can and should be doing if we want to grow in our relationship with Jesus. There is spiritual work to be done. Now, most of us are dedicated to exercise. And maybe there's a couple of you who are not really, but I'm assuming that a lot of you guys take exercise seriously, whether it's a gym routine or 25 push-ups in 25 days or a run around the block three times a week. You take seriously your spiritual exercise, sorry, your physical exercise because you know the type of person, you know the shape that you want to get into. Now, I don't know why it is that so often we don't think the same applies spiritually. If we want to be growing in our relationship with God, growing in intimacy, deep intimacy with Jesus, if we want to be growing in the way we love others, if we want to be filled with a joy and peace in the midst of an anxious time in our world, if we want to have wisdom when we make decisions, if we want to be able to practice self-control in the face of great temptation, man, if we're not practicing spiritual disciplines, if we're not exercising ourselves spiritually, we're fooling ourselves if we think that we will attain all of those things. I love this one verse. I'm going to read it from the message version. Uh, this is a verse, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4. It's two verses actually from, from verse 7 to 8. Listen to this. Exercise daily in God. No spiritual flabbiness, please. Workouts in the gymnasium are useful, but a disciplined life in God is far more so. Making you fit both today and forever. So on that note, what are some of the spiritual disciplines that we could be putting into practice daily so that we can become spiritually fit? Now, I admit there are many, and I would encourage you to go and research and find out the, the different spiritual disciplines that will exercise different spiritual muscles. But today, I, want, I really want to focus in on three spiritual disciplines, which I have found essential in my own spiritual growth. Number one, read your Bible daily. Number two, engage in daily conversation with God. And number three, meet with other Christians weekly. Now, just a disclaimer, I don't have a huge amount of time, so I'm not going to dive into a full kind of sermon on each of those points. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of info on why they're important and some practical ways that you can practice them each day. So firstly, read your Bible every day. Now, you guys would agree with me that we live in a day and age where there is information overload. We get info coming at us from every side every day, whether it is from parents or friends or social media or the things we watch or the music we listen to or politicians in the States who are having an influence on us. We are getting information, claims on our minds all the time to believe different sort of uh, sets of truth. But I want to say that there is such a thing as absolute truth, and it is not found in those things. If you're a Christian, you believe that the Bible is the word of God, the words that come out of God's mouth, and therefore is absolute truth. 
The Bible is the only thing that is going to shape you to become more like Christ. It is the only set of information or truth that's going to come into your mind that's ultimately going to be beneficial for you. This is what 2 Timothy verse, uh, 3 verse 16 says. Every part of scripture is God-breathed and useful one way or another, showing us truth, exposing our rebellion, correcting our mistakes, training us to live God's way. You cannot afford to not be reading the Bible every day. If you are not going to do that, you are not going to become spiritually fit. I wouldn't be surprised if you're not in a, in, a, in a habit or have the discipline of reading God's word daily. I wouldn't be surprised if you're not growing. I wouldn't be surprised if you're a ball of anxiety all the time, if you're struggling to say no to sin, if you find yourself ratty and unable to grow in loving others. It's essential that we are taking in the Bible daily. God's word shaping our minds, which shapes our hearts, which shapes our behavior. Now, it may seem overwhelming. Where do I start? It's such a big book. And I want to say to you, guys, keep it simple. You don't need to have a master's in theology. You don't need to have some super clever Bible study method at your disposal. Just get into God's word daily. Here's a tip. Pick a book. Something that your heart can connect with. It's maybe a bit easier for you to understand. Psalms, maybe one of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Maybe it's one of Paul's letters like Philippians or Ephesians. And just pick a chapter a day and read it over and over again until it sinks in. And ask yourself the following questions. What is this teaching me about God? And what is this teaching me about myself? And pray those things that you're learning back to God. And if you have questions around things that you don't understand, do some research. I wouldn't just automatically Google stuff. Ask people that you love and trust that are wiser and more experienced in their relationship with God. Ask the questions so you can find out the answers. Devotions are cool, guys. It's cool that you're here listening to this. But I can tell you now, this is fast food. You need to be eating spiritual meals. You need to be reading the Bible for yourselves daily. Secondly, engage in daily conversation with God. I purposefully use the word conversation and not prayer because sometimes we get a block when we think of prayer because it feels like it's just talking to God to a brick wall. There's no answer back. But conversation is different and prayer should be like conversation. Your closest relationships are the ones where you are in conversation regularly with somebody else. Sharing your heart, hearing them back. That's how it's got to be in our relationship with God. We touched on this last week. We spoke about the importance of coming to God to share our hearts and learning to hear Him speak to us. He has a secret. If you're not reading your Bible, you're not going to hear him speak to you because God speaks to us primarily through the pages of Scripture. And he brings verses to mind, which which are on our, our kind of subconscious, which we can recall, which we can call on, which we can anchor to, which will shape the way that we think and live our lives. The more you have conversation with God, the more you will become like him because you're a product of who you hang out with. Let me say that again. You're a product of who you hang out with. Hang out with God and you'll become more like him. Talk to God, hear him, and you'll become more like him. So if you're a product of who you hang out with, this brings me to the third discipline. Meet with Christians weekly. If you want to become more like Jesus, spend time with Christians. Most of us think that we're fine on our own. Most of us have been content during lockdown to not kind of... Uh, talk to other Christians, just, you know, do alone time. Uh, we don't listen in on a Sunday to the sermons. We don't uh, attend our, our X squared youth meetings on a Friday night. We, we're not engaging with, with other Christians in our youth group. But the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, to not give up meeting together as Christians. If you do stop meeting together with Christians and you are a product of who you hang out with, you're going to become like those that you're spending your time with. Who are you spending your time with? 
maybe in lockdown, it's people on social media, people you watch on Netflix. Now we might laugh and those aren't real people, but we slowly become like them. They have an influence on us. You want to become more like Christ? Make it a priority now. Start committing yourself now to engage with Christians. If you're not joining in on a Sunday to listen to, to Pastor Rich or whoever else is preaching, and you're not engaging in some of those comments and those, you know, as part of the church community, do so. If you're not joining in on Friday nights, we're having a lot of fun and we're dealing with some really cool topics. If you're not doing that, do so. You might feel like it's boring or you don't have the time for it. But sometimes discipline is tough. Sometimes it's hard to go to the gym and exercise, but we do it because we know it's good for us. Soak yourself in Christian community in this season. If you do that, your relationship, your relationship with God will grow. So that's where I want to leave us today, guys. I really want to encourage you to begin practicing spiritual disciplines because in 10, 20 years time, you will regret it if you don't start now. Read your Bible daily, engage in daily conversation with God and meet with Christians weekly. And I guarantee you, you will start to grow in your relationship with God and you will feel stuck less and less. Enjoy God this week, guys. Love you. Cheers. Thank you.